Hello, the kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Fable 2. Alright, when we left off, we had just managed to get into the tomb, and now we need to learn a will ability now before we're able to leave. Now you have gained so far, to better yourself in strength, skill, and will. Well, I have enough to do some of them, so let's look into strength. Oh. Metal styles unlock special moves for use in close combat. Yeah, it seems like it. I've, I noticed they changed the color scheme for uh, strength, skill, and will too. It used to be blue for uh, it used to be blue for will, and used to be red for strength. And skill was yellow. Skill was never really changed, but they changed up the color scheme for strength and will. I find that funny, <laughs> at least to me. Anyway, uh, general skill is still green and huh maybe I should look into will first before I start doing Shock anything. Shock stuns your enemies and blasts them with lightning. That would be nice. Uh, that would be pretty nice. Although I need to go with one that's a little Inferno calls forth magical flames to scorch and burn your foes. Well that'd be nice too. Um, I'm just looking through all the spells. Time control allows you to slow the world around you, or to move with incredible speed. That's pretty nice, and I have enough to get that. Blades creates magical swords to impale your enemies. That would hurt. <laughs> and that'd be cool. Vortex creates a powerful windstorm that will pummel your enemies with nearby debris, or even other enemies. That would be funny. <laughs> Just to watch and have them Chaos go Chaos confuses your foes, making them unpredictable. They may flee, attack their fellows, or even fall in love with you. That might be a little, um... That might be a little weird. <laughs> but fun! <laughs> It'd be fun in one respect. Uh, yeah, I'm not, not gonna <laughs> mention. Anywho... Force push. Force push sends a blast of energy towards your enemies, hurling them into nearby objects. It is very effective in confined spaces. It sounds like it, and it is very Jedi of us. Mm. And raise the dead. Raise dead causes the bones of the recently deceased to rise and fight for you. So the ones I kill will come back and fight for me. That'd be nice. That'd be very nice. Very necromancer. Um... Let's go for a direct damage shock type. Stuns your enemies and and blasts shock them is the strongest them. out of them, really, if you look through all of that. The only one that's stronger is blades and only in targeted. Uh, area damage is really the strongest when you choose lightning. So, I mean, shock is probably best. There we go. At least when it comes to will. And I can still get one strength. Um... I was hoping I'd be able to get physique, but it doesn't look like your I'd be physique, able to get that. The more damage you will cause with close combat weapons. Yeah, that'd be nice, but uh, I don't think I can get toughness. A tougher hero is able to withstand more damage before falling in battle. That'd be nice, but now it looks like I'll have to get brutal style brutal first, styles which allows me to block. Special moves for use in close combat. Yeah, and it looks like that'll allow me to block at the very least. Uh. Future abilities will be flourishes, bleh, flourishes, chain attacks, and counters. Ooh, boy. <laughs> Coffee is making me burpy. I apologize. Ugh. And that wasn't even a full burp. That just hurt. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, that would be very useful to have, because apparently I don't have it now. Uh, hold X to block all incoming strikes from any direction. You'll take a step back, but you'll be safe. Which is good. Which is good to have in the back pocket, even though I'll probably rarely block in the first place, <laughs> because it's me. Uh, Rusty Mace, I still have that in the back pocket, but I'm not going to use it because it's a slow weapon. As it says, attack speed slow, damage blunt. I prefer the sharp, to be perfectly honest. Even though it does have an augment slot, it's not useful enough and especially too early game enough to actually throw an augment in there. That'd be 
just stupid of me. As crude and ugly as it is effective, one can imagine this mace being wielded by the very first men to walk upon this world. I think I read that last time. Okay, well, I'll sell that when I get to where I'm going. Uh, clothing. Do I have anything new? It says I do, but it doesn't look like I do. Popper shirt. <laughs> Let's just read these. Coarse and ugly, and the smell emanating from the armpit area is nothing to be proud of either. Yeah, <laughs> I would assume. Especially if it's a hand-me-down. Uh, your hands are likely to get dirtier wearing these gloves than without them. That's... That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad, even for a pair of gloves. Uh, jeez. Pauper trousers. What do we got here? Bits of an old circus tent stitched with old rags. It's what all the beggars are wearing this season. Yeah. And every season. Because that's all I can get. Uh, jeebus. Alright. Held together with dirt and rather uncomfortable. Well, shit. That's pretty bad. Bad. <laughs> God damn. Alright. And we got some new items, mainly silver keys, uh, some diaries and notes. Uh, the end is almost night, you hero of Oakvale and the tattered spire. Spire, I don't know what the fuck my tongue was doing there. Uh, gifts, augments, the bewitching augment. Uh, we went over this one, right? Yeah, it makes you more attractive without the need for cosmetic surgery, yeah. Hey, <laughs> that's a thing. All right. Can you feel the power coursing through you? It oh is yeah. The beginning. <laughs> Use your will ability to hit the flit switch and power up the gate. Absolutely. Once activated, it will allow you to travel back to Bower Lake. That would be good. Now uh, you might be wondering about that treasure chest and why I'm not going for it. Uh, there was a thing in the very early days of Fable Two. That allowed you to get some special items from Fable 1 if you just did a thing uh, through a website. Uh, I'll show it here. Um, yeah, you have to go to Fable2.com for information on how to access the golden items your heroic ancestors left behind. Which would be the people you played in Fable 1. Um, problem is... This website's been long broken. <laughs> you can't even use it for a good long time. Uh, has to have been half a decade now. It, that's probably even more so, actually, now that I think about it. It's probably close to a decade. So, um, can't do anything with that at all. That's it's kind of not useful. Oh well. But destroy the flit switch. Yeah, I could do that if the cheese would throw it. Well done. Damn, that was loud. Now you are ready to begin your journey. Yeah. Use the colorless gate. I will do so. Use colorless gate to Bower Lake. That kind of that kind of rhymes a little bit. I'm gonna drink my coffee now <laughs> before I say something stupider. <sighs> Alrighty then. Use your newfound abilities to defeat them. These guys. Up. Oh. Up. Oh, there we go. Did not expect all oh, these guys to be here. Shut up. I like having the ability quickly throw the shells out. Hey, hey, hold RT to uh, collect the experience orbs. The tongue was having problems actually the finishing. And experience of the creatures that you kill. Yeah, I'm well aware. Make our way to Power Stone. We have much to discuss. I think that's what she was saying. Didn't quite catch it because she was telling me about the orbs again for probably the fourth time. I think. I lost count. Okay. Alright, so we can follow that. Or, we can fuck right off and start collecting things within this area. I kind of feel like I want to do the latter. It's a bunny! 
It's a bunny. I could kill it, but I'm not a jackass. Although you do get an achievement for it, which I unfortunately got. Trying to test out how it works. Uh, way, way back. I think I still have it somewhere. Let me double check. Uh, yeah, achievements. There we go. Um, for this game. There we go. Oh, wow. Yep, there it is. So proud of yourself. Big, brave hunter killed an innocent rabbit. How do you sleep at night? Yep, that was the one. That was the one. Uh, I didn't expect it to be right there. I didn't think it was the last one I got, but shit. I guess it was. All right. Well, I'm just going to wander around here. Ooh. There we go. Well, yeah, I, I saw that, buddy. Thank you, though. Thank you for uh, eventually picking up on it, though. Give you that much. Ooh. And there's something farther in that way as well. I did not notice that. I should probably grab that. Dive, dive, dive. Ooh, money bag. Good thing I grabbed that. <laughs> 300 gold. Beautiful. All right. It's going to be pretty dark for a while now. How? Hey. Hey, 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 hey. So, uh, we'll have to get used to the darkness for a little bit. Children's health potion. Eh, it's better than nothing. Better than a root canal with a black and decker. Not that I know, but I can imagine. Anyway, should be uh, should be a couple things around the lake if I remember right. If I just swim around a little bit. All right. Yeah, there's one over here. Okay. Keep on moving and go for this. Potion of Life. The same sect of Old Kingdom alchemists who are said to have solved the secret of immortality also created the recipe for this life-prolonging potion. Few have the knowledge or the skill to brew it successfully now. That is probably true. But, if I pop that, I add a little more health to my person. Which is always nice. But right now, we're going to keep on moving... I know there's more to collect. I think there's one over there, actually. Ah, that it is. That it is. Another thing. Another dive spot. And Rusty Cutlass. Better than my Rusty Longsword. Not by much, I think. Only the most pathetic pirates, or one who had spent a great, a great deal of time on the bottom of the sea, would be seen holding a sword like this. Well, I feel relatively insulted. <laughs> How is it better, I wonder, quite honestly? Because I think it's faster. I think. No, but it does do more damage. Yeah, it's pretty much the same speed, but it is more damage. So I guess if that's the case, I can't equip weapons while swimming. Of course I can't equip weapons while swimming. Of course not. Because that would just make it even rustier. What was I thinking? I wasn't. That's the answer to that question. Okay. I could have sworn there was something else down here. Guess not. Alright. Well, I'm just swimming like a motherfucker. It's fucking Michael Phelps over here. Ancient Michael Phelps. Really ancient. Okay. There the flying fuck. I could have sworn there was one more. Is it over here? Is it all the way over here? Ah? Uh -huh. I don't know, maybe. Probably. Right under the bridge. Right near the waterfall. Huh. I could have sworn. Huh. Well, guess not. That's a weird shot. <laughs> that is a very weird shot. Uh, can't get up that way. Obviously. But, you know. Had to check. Alright. Here we are. Now I can actually switch out the fucking weapon. That'd be nice. Uh, cutlass. There we go. 
better than nothing. Alrighty. Ah, not into a tree. Didn't want to go into the tree. Uh, there's a uh, light over here. Kind of want to check what that's about. Oh. Oh. Those banners suggest I shouldn't go that way. It's something important. Too important for me to be doing that early. Alright, what is over here? Oh. Ooh, a chest! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Uh, what do we got? Assassin coat. Uh, lurk in the shadows, slip undetected into homes, and slaughter your targets in silence in this fetching coat. I'm not going to be wearing it. Because <laughs> uh, it makes you look evil, and we're not going to do that this playthrough. We're not going to look evil, we're just going to kind of... We're going to kind of act like it. Just a little. Just a little bit. We're going to be nice at first, but then we grow up and we're going to be a bastard. <laughs> we're going to be the exact opposite of what they expected us as children. It's expected of us as children. I mean, I can't talk anymore. Uh, I think those are beetles. Nope, those are birds. Okay. I know there's beetles around here somewhere. Because the camera's panning upwards. Huh. That's weird. Alright, what is this? Uh, one. Only needs one key. Hmm. Well then. Let's get into that. Aha! The number of keys needed to open it is shown on the chest. Just like all of them. Dog Tricks, the bunny hop. Animal lover, dog trainer, and circus owner, Rufina Musket, wrote this b series of books bleh, to pass on her intimate knowledge of canine psychology. Use this book to teach your dog how to hop like a bunny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> to see him do this, dance, laugh, whistle, play the lute, or strike a heroic pose. Uh, yeah, I could do that. That'd be good. Oh. Opening a chest does not use up your keys. That is a good thing to know. And now I can teach the dog the new trick. Ha ha! You've received an expression book. Use it from your inventory to learn a new expression. Or just use it in front of the dog. <laughs> and the dog understands it. Because you're reading to him. Like a crazy person. No, I'm just kidding. Like a normal, normal pet owners talk to their animals. And read to their animals and tuck them into bed. What? What? Just me? Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm fucking losing my mind. More progressively as time goes on. Let's uh, follow the fucking line, huh? I did enough dilly-dallying for one day. I will be able to find more stuff as the day progresses. Well, as the playthrough progresses, really. Oh. Ha! Ah. Apologies, citizen. The road to Bearstone is closed due to the bandit activity. Okay. I'm afraid that as long as the bandit thag is alive, the road stays closed. Well, fuck. If you're fuck. in an hurry like, you can always an take hurry. care of thag yourself. That's that's more forced than most uh, so, Cockney accents. The road to Barstone is closed. It would seem Thag has been capturing traders on their way to the Bower Lake camp. Huh. He is a danger to all and must be dealt yeah. with. With Fair your enough. new power, you should be able to defeat him and his gang and continue your quest. Defeat no him at his camp and kill him? Lake. Okay. Do I have to kill him or do I just have to defeat him? That's a question, isn't it? Alright, I need to go to Thag's camp and take him on once and for all. But, requires me going this way. And I think, yeah, I'm progressively, I'll, I'll be able to progress all the way over there. I'm just making sure I uh, got all the treasure within the general area first. There we go. And this was the, whoa, okay. That was just decided to slide on my ass there, I guess. Okay, uh... Yeah, this is the direction I assumed would be story content that I needed to avoid. This would be the bandit camp, as you can obviously tell from the skulls. Alright. And, oh, 
Ooh. Some shit's gonna have to happen here. But, uh, that'll have to be in the next episode, because I do not have enough time to do all of that. <laughs> At least not yet. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat, playing games and just fucking around and finding treasure after finally learning a will ability and a strength ability at the same time for you.